You're listening to the Greek's Gridiron. Now here's your host, Ethan Haristadulu. Welcome back to the Greek's Gridiron. I am Ethan Haristadulu, and to my UFL fans, we've got ourselves a big news drop to discuss today. This probably won't be very long, but I wanted to make sure I got it out to discuss with you all, so I highly recommend comment away in that comment section down below. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this here, but at roughly 8 a.m. this morning, UFL Communications, if you don't follow them on X, I highly recommend you do so. They are the legitimate account for the UFL. They discuss basically everything that you need to know as far as player signings, players being waived, announcements like this one here, that the Houston Roughnecks will be playing football in 2024 at Rice University. This is a big deal, and there's a few things I took away from this that I really love, so I want to discuss with you all here. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the stadium, it is located in Houston, A-plus there, completed in 1950. The capacity for the stadium sits at roughly about 37,000 fans, which, again, another A-plus in my opinion there, and I'll get to that in a second. The rumor mill had been swirling for quite some time in regards to Rice Stadium being the location that the Houston Roughnecks were going to be going to. This goes back to well before the official merger was even announced. I feel like this was something I was reading about dating back to like maybe like September, October, something along those lines. I've been hearing the Rice Stadium discussion for quite some time now. And I think a lot of people within the UFL community have been discussing that long before this merger has even happened. But it's been swirling for a while now. It's nice to get official confirmation. This means a few things, and we'll get to that in a second here. But I want to share with you all why I think this is a really good fit for them. Obviously, first and foremost, you are in Houston. This will allow for that personal touch, the fans to come to Houston to root on their professional team. This is an A+. The stadium, in my opinion, for all eight of these teams, must be located within the city that they are named after. So give me an A+, for that. Now, the second thing here, and the one that I really, really like about this, is the capacity of the stadium. Like I said, you're sitting at about 37,000 fans or so at maximum capacity. Now, do I know exactly what the numbers are going to look like as far as the Houston Roughnecks fan turnout is going to be? Absolutely not. But if we're sitting, let's say hypothetically, anywhere within the range of like 10 to 15,000 at best, maybe 20,000 fans or so, if things really get crazy over there, maybe the Roughnecks are doing good, fan turnout ends up being better than anticipated something along those lines optically speaking when you are watching on television this is going to make the product in houston look a lot better and why am i mentioning that because i do have some gripes about ufl teams playing in the much larger stadiums i think the michigan panthers being an offender of this now let me start off by saying that i don't necessarily myself personally mind that the panthers play in detroit's Ford Field. I'm all for it. I love it. I'm glad that they have the support of the NFL allowing them to play within their stadium. However, to the detractors, the people that are the, you know, the haters of spring football here, they look at Michigan Panthers games, and I've seen this discussed plenty. Again, I don't share this per opinion personally myself. It is just something that I have seen. Even if you're drawing, let's say 15,000 to 20,000 people or so at a Michigan Panthers game, in Ford Field, it still looks like a crowd of only a handful of thousand people because the capacity over there is like 76,000 fans or something like that. It is a massive stadium. You can fit a ton of people in there. I like the idea of playing in a slightly smaller, more intimate type of stadium atmosphere because you can pack it with fans and it makes the games look far more lively, far more attended, and a lot more filled. So optically speaking, the fact that they are in a location that is still a good size stadium, but caps at around 40,000 or so at max and even a little bit under that number, 37 is again the rough estimate or so for fan capacity, I think this will look really good on Houston's part. I think finding stadiums within that like 30,000 to 40,000 fans range is something that spring football leagues definitely need to focus in on. And so I'm glad that the UFL was able to find a location like this. I think it kind of hurts teams again to the people that we are trying to attract as fans to the UFL. It, it you know, it makes people 
look at it a little bit negatively when you're seeing a team play in a professional size stadium that again has a capacity of like 70 some odd thousand fans but yet you're only seeing like maybe one sixth of the stadium being filled again I don't personally mind it it does not matter to me I watch the USFL games even when there was only like a few hundred fans in the stadium it doesn't matter to me but we are trying to attract other people that aren't fans to help this league succeed and I think that is going to go a long way for those of the people that are maybe on the fence about it to see them play in a smaller stadium with again solid crowd you look at 10 to 15,000 people that's talking about nearly half the stadium looking like it's filled out which looks a lot better than a stadium of 75,000 with only 10 to 15,000 fans and again you're talking about like a sixth of the stadium being filled at absolute best so I think this is a really good fit in my opinion and again you're in a college stadium you have the entire university and the surrounding area to try and draw fans from now it's going to help again being a smaller place more intimate type of feel to the to the whole entire game in houston this is a really good really good location in my opinion for those of you that are interested 50 dollars deposits right now to get yourself season tickets to go see the houston roughnecks you better hurry up and get in there and get in there fast because they're one of the few teams again they didn't have a stadium yet so their deposits are really low because you didn't necessarily know where you're going to go get that locked in before it changes tickets i'm sure are going to start moving a lot quicker number might go up as far as the pricing because i know it varies team to team definitely get in there and grab your season tickets if you have not already now one other thing that this means and i think it is a very important thing to point out here because a lot of ufl fans have been asking i've been seeing it all over the social medias over the last handful of weeks basically since the merger was officially announced now that all eight teams have an official home the ufl schedule is approaching we will be finding out probably within the next couple of weeks or so i would assume probably at least before training camp kicks off that's around the, what is that the 24th for training camp so we're probably going to find out within the next couple of weeks or so what the ufl schedule is actually going to look like we obviously know the kickoff game is going to be between the two champions of both leagues that have merged together but now with all eight teams in an official home market we are going to get that schedule very soon that's something that again i've been seeing a lot of people ask about and it was it was never going to come out until this was set in stone and like i said the rumor mill for a long time was that rice stadium was in the crosshairs of the ufl or just the usfl where whoever it was that was looking at it as a prospective place prior to the official merger being announced but that was never going to be something that was released until the deal was officially signed off so ufl schedule should be coming up that all being said i open it up to you all what are your thoughts what are your opinions on this one here like i said me personally i'm all for it i just wanted a whole spiel as to why i like the location why i like the stadium size and how i think it's going to fit in well with the ufl but do you think the ufl made the right call do you like the location do you dislike the location and if you don't like the location did you have a place in mind that maybe you thought would have fit a little bit better for the houston roughnecks fire away i'd love to discuss the wall but like i said short announcement video not a whole bunch to talk about but i wanted to make sure i got this out to you especially those of you that maybe don't hang out on social media all the time and would miss something like this but that is it for me as always i greatly appreciate it if you made it to the end i will speak to you all next time have a good one